In our first episode of the Unity Idle Game Tutorial Series 2021, uh, we are going to be installing Unity. I'll be guiding you through the steps and all the stuff you need in order to get it successfully working. I'm going to show you how to install Visual Studio Community Edition. I will not show you how to install Visual Studio Code since I personally have never used it before. And I'm going to show you some precautions that we can avoid in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on notifications, just click that bell so you can get notified for future videos and live streams. Anyways, let's just get right into it. So the first step into installing Unity is to simply just go to their download page. So you can just search up Unity Download. Now, once you get to their download page, you're going to see quite a bit of options. You can choose Unity and an individual download. So you can download Unity on its own. However, I highly recommend you not to do that because it'll be really annoying to kind of update your version. So that's why we're gonna be downloading Unity Hub today. So click that button to get started. So once you go through the setup, uh, it'll ask for like an install location as usual. I didn't honestly didn't need to install this, but I'm just gonna go with you guys. So currently we are installing it and it's done already. So once it's done, you wanna make sure this run Unity Hub is checked and click finish. And sometimes you may get some Windows security alerts when it comes with this, just allow access. Okay, so your screen may look a little different than mine because I've actually had stuff in the past. You may have to log in and stuff. And if you don't have a Unity account, I would do that as soon as possible, if, unless it asks you already. So the first thing we need to do is actually install Unity. So right now, as you can see, I have five versions right here. I can honestly install these four because I don't really need four previous versions of Unity. But in order to install the latest version, here is click this blue add button here, and we'll see a long list of versions here. Sometimes there's a little more when there's beta testing, but currently there isn't. So I recommend going for the official release, which is the latest one, which would be in my case, 2020.1.17 F1. So you select that and hit next and go through the installation phase. And the recommended release is good for long-term support. Um, minimizing the amount of bugs you'll experience, but that's up to you if you want to choose the latest version with more features or the less buggy one. So again, up to you. So next, you'll just click that next button. And depending on what kind of a developer you're going to be, you want to make sure to install the correct platforms. If you're going to be an Android developer, you want to hit that Android build support, Android SDK and NDK tools, and open JDK. This is all that you're required for building to Android. So you need to hit all of these and make sure you have all three of them checked as well. Now, if you're on a Mac right now, I would turn on this iOS build support if you're gonna be an iOS developer. However, if you're on Windows, it's completely pointless. So do not hit the iOS unless you have a Mac. And personally, since I am a Linux, Mac, and a web GL and a Windows dev, I have all four of these checked. Now, if you're only doing Windows, you can have Windows only. If you're gonna do WebGL, WebGL, same with Linux and Mac. And I'm gonna show you each one of these at the very end of the series as well. So anyways, after that, you'll just hit next and it should start installing. So since I already have a 2020.2, I don't wanna downgrade because currently it's 1.717F1 or something like that. So I don't wanna downgrade. So we're just gonna be using 2020.2 for today. So as it's installing, it should take about 30 minutes to an hour. So currently we have ours installed. So we're just gonna hop right ahead to creating a new project. So in your project section here, you should see nothing here, unless you've made a project in the past. And what you're gonna do is click this new button here, okay, and you're gonna get a window create a new project with Unity and the latest version that you installed. And you have a bunch of templates here. So the cool thing is I guess it has mobile 2D and mobile 3D, but we're not gonna use those. We're just gonna use the 2D one and we're just gonna give this a name. I'm calling mine Idle Game Tutorial Series 2021. If you don't have a name already, that's perfectly fine. You can change the folder later on and it'll still work just fine. Okay, our project has been created here. It's just an empty, uh, empty scene with a camera. And you may sometimes see this error here, unable to parse file project settings. Just ignore it. You can hit this clear button here and it's, yeah, you can just pretty much ignore it. Now your layout may not look like mine. If you want to match mine, you can all you want. I basically have the scene animator asset store and package manager at the top. And if you don't see like asset manager or asset store and package manager at the top already, just completely ignore those. You don't really need them. But basically I just have the scene and my game separated. So it, it might look like for you is something like this. So what you can do is just drag this game tab right here and just drag it towards the bottom and it should snap right there. 
And I like to separate my hierarchy and my inspector just because when you click on main camera, you know what you're selecting here. And it's just easy to switch between here. And I also really like to switch between the project console and animation here, even though maybe the animation could be a little better spot for me. But this is just how I set mine up. So when you create a new project, uh, ignore my gigantic mess of a folder here, but basically it creates a folder here called Idle Game Tutorial Series 2021. And here you'll have your assets the library, which is like temporary files, uh, logs, just stuff like this. You'll mostly be focusing on assets because that's just where all your scripts, images, all that cool stuff goes. And if you ever wanna change the project name, like when you open it up, all you gotta do is just close out of the project, make sure you save first, and then you can just rename this folder, open it right up, and it's good to go. Okay, so now it's time to install Visual Studio Community Edition. So what I'm going to be using throughout the entire series is called JetBrains Writer. Now I really love this IDE and it costs money unfortunately, so I don't recommend any new people to buy this yet unless you consider this to be like a long term like profitable project I guess I can say. Otherwise Video Studio Community Edition works just great. Now if you are on kind of a not so good computer, first of all this may be a little difficult for you. However, you can install Visual Studio Code and it's a little more lightweight. However, I'd highly suggest you to give this a try. So once you go to the Visual Studio Community Edition on Google, you can just hit this first link right here. Uh, brings you to the download right here. Or you can just go to their Microsoft Visual Studio website and you will be installing Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. So you'll just hit that big fat download Visual Studio button and it should start downloading immediately. Okay, once you open it, you will see the installer starting to run here and we're just gonna continue through this process. I recently just uninstalled Visual Studio just so I can show you guys the, the full on demonstration because who knows, there could be some stuff that we need to do before we actually start using it because sometimes it will ask us if you'd like to install Unity packages and you will you want to <laughs> or else it won't, it won't really work with Unity that well. Okay, so now that the now that this is good to go, you can see that there's a bunch of options here. So you can get individual components, which I don't recommend. Uh, you can get language packs for different languages and you can change your installation location. So for here, let's scroll through this list. So we're gonna get .NET desktop development, which is like C sharp. And we're not gonna be using C++ or any of that kind of stuff. I didn't know you could do C++ with mobile. That's kind of cool. Game development with Unity. That is the big one you need here. And I believe that's it. Yep, so all you need is .NET desktop development and game development with Unity. And you can just hit that install button. And also make sure you have quite a bit of storage left because this and Unity combined will take quite a bit of storage on your computer. All right, so now it's starting to install. Cool, so it's done. Once it's done, you should see this little panel right here. And you can modify, launch, or repair, uninstall, all that good stuff. So we're just gonna hit that lot. So we're just gonna hit this. So what we can do is just close this for now since we don't need access to it. Oh, it looks like it's already loaded. Never mind then. So let's just configure this real quick. So I personally like the dark theme. And development settings, I'm just gonna put Visual C Sharp since that, that's what we're using. Start Visual Studio. Okay, while that's happening here, let's go back to Unity and we're gonna prevent a future error and that is just some kind of miscompatibility with um, Visual Studio and, and Unity here. Okay, so yeah, you also need to make an account, a Microsoft account in order to sign into Visual Studio, unfortunately. And I think once you make an account, it should be good. So it's either you pay for something you either pay for it or you make into an account. Make an account. I believe that's how it works. I haven't. I haven't paid a single dime for Visual Studio Community Edition. All right. Once you sign in, you should see everything here. You can see I already have one of my old projects in here, but we're just gonna close this. So now we're gonna link Unity and Visual Studio. So what we're gonna do is click Edit Preferences, and you'll be in General. So we're not gonna do anything here. So I want you to go to External Tools, and you see this external script editor here. Well, right now it's assigned to Writer, because that's what I use. So what you do is select this Visual Studio Community 2019. So that's the current version you have installed. So you'll select this and it'll be good to go. Okay, and also what we wanna do is scroll down here. If you're doing Android development, you wanna make sure that all of these are checked here as well. You may sometimes need to uncheck these and all that, but 
for now. Just make sure they're all checked and you're good to go. Well, guys, we're all set up and we're ready to get started in the next episode. So in the next episode, episode 0.2, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Unity, how to access certain parts of the engine and what everything explain what everything is and this will also make our transition into making our game much easier instead of having to figure out everything from scratch and just taking a guess if you wanted to start on your own now if you guys have already made a game in the past you don't really have to watch the next series that's why it's not episode one it's episode 0 0.2 however if you want to watch just for just to double check your understanding then you're more than welcome to anyways i'll see you guys in the next video and if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on notifications for future videos and live streams catch you guys in the next one have a great day night peace